What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Gmaya's World. And right now, we're going to be talking about why your Madden 23 Ultimate Team is going to cost you even more. Now, this is all leaked out information, but it appears that they're adding more throwing motions and releases into Madden 23 Ultimate Team. So, a lot of us were always skeptical about the way the release of the player's uh, arm was. You know what I'm saying? Like Joe Montana versus like Josh Allen. Uh, a lot of different things along those lines. Now, it's even more complex. All right? Like the Jets. Gen 3, Gen this, gen, like all kind of craziness that was going on. Um, it goes back to Madden 20. If you guys have been watching my videos for a decent amount of time, back in Madden 20, Aaron Rodgers without any abilities was able to release the ball super fast because it went based on what Aaron Rodgers was. And we thought that EA would be reasonable and leave that you know, going going forward, like if you if you want to get a slower, accurate quarterback like Aaron Rodgers and you can't really run around, that should be fine. You see what I'm saying? Like, if that's the way that his release is, it should come with the power up. But they changed it in 21, and then they changed it in 22. So now with this leaked information, it's going to cost more now because your quarterback is going to be more reliant on a throwing motion than ever before. Like right now, currently we're using Lamar Jackson, right? So just to give you guys an idea of what's going on, um, I don't play the game competitively uh, competitively anymore, but I, you know, I play it like I dabble. I used to be a competitive player. I don't do it anymore. I'm not really interested in doing anything else other than teaching you guys how to play the game and how to have fun with the game. All right. So right now we're currently ranked 367. We're on a three game winning streak. You know, we have 21 Super Bowls, like whatever. It doesn't really matter. That's not my point about like just showing you my, 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 my record and stuff like that. The point is, I'm going to figure out what makes the most sense to help you guys win more games. That's what my point is. And this is going to be a situation where now we have to figure out, okay, this quarterback at launch can't release the ball right. So what do we do? And you guys are like, yo, gee, this guy's release sucks, blah, blah, blah. It's a lot of things that EA are putting into the game that's going to make it so that we have to invest in specific players that are going to cost more. Because they're not going to do something like, Give us a guy, shout out to Shannon Sharp, that is going to be able to make throws without an ability. So what does that mean? The reason that Joe Montana was such a very, very exciting player when he was released was because he got all of these abilities for 15. Escape artist, hot route master, pass lead elite. Now, I don't care what quarterback you use, you're going to need at least pass lead elite. You may not be able to afford Gunslinger. We got to see what the final ability prices are going to be, but you're going to have to have this on your quarterback. Or realistically, you won't be able to throw the ball. It has come so far to disgustingness to where nothing really matters but abilities in Madden to the point where people don't even want to play the game because they don't want to learn about the abilities. But truth be told, every game has abilities now. 2K, uh, NHL, uh, FIFA. It doesn't matter. Every game has abilities. So... As long as you understand what you're doing, it doesn't really matter, guys. Don't be intimidated about the fact, oh, they said I gotta have an ability. That's fine. If you subscribe right here, you're gonna get it. If you're a member, you're gonna get even more. So if you join the membership and, and you look in the description box and you join the fam like that, you'll get the private chats, you'll get the private info. But I'm always gonna give you guys the information that's needed to just enjoy the game. So I was in the middle of rage selling Joe Montana, and it was funny that we saw the leak about the new releases because if you've played with Joe Montana, you've noticed he has a horrible... Dude, if you give him pass lead elite, he never throws the ball. So he literally just stands there and gets sacked. So now you got to figure out, okay, at launch, who's going to be the best bet? For me, I'm going to probably go with Josh Allen. I'm going to think that Josh Allen may be the guy that we go with simply because... It's, he's going to have the biggest arm for the most, you know, for the active players. He and Patrick Mahomes, but Patrick Mahomes, they've been doing him dirty since Madden 20. He's just been a trash can player since Madden 20. So I wouldn't even look to go that route because I don't believe that it'll work out for you guys if you go that route. So for me, I would probably say, you know what? We're going to probably lean towards Josh Allen. I'm, I'm not going to sell this guy right now because, like, you know, pretty much, like, they've been doing things like getting your players locked and all that stuff. And I don't know if nobody's going to really buy it right now. So I'm just going to leave that right now. We'll sell them later, uh, probably during the live stream or something. But let's go take a look at what's going on because, remember, with Josh Allen's card, it's probably going to be a lot similar to the way that it is right now. Um, he is a higher overall quarterback now. He's starting to get more respect on his name. So you could probably expect a little bit more out of him. But he's more than likely going to be a guy that – He's going to probably be like around an 86, 87. 
So if you add a little bit more uh, to him, I think we'll be fine with him. Because the 80, like, if you look at what that is, that's an 88 speed on Josh Allen when you power him up. Josh Allen is not a slow quarterback. So he has a big arm, uh, 90 throw power, 88 speed. I don't see a scenario in which they take away too much from what this already is because he actually has gotten better. So realistically, based on the rankings, he should be a quarterback that you're looking at. Now, remember, the Legends, that's a whole nother ball game. And I'm getting a lot of questions about the Legends. Yo, gee, should we go Legends? Like, is Legends the thing that we should probably focus on? Dude, if a Legend has a very, very good release, I'm going to tell you, look, this guy's release, I used him, he's pretty good. If the release of the Legend is not good, I'm going to tell you that also. Some of you guys are looking for different things. You know, a lot of you guys are looking for the overall. Yo, G, I want my overall to be this. Is this smart? Yo, G, I want, you know, I want this player. Is this smart? I can't really tell you exactly what the smart thing to do is until we see the build that the game is released on. If you played the beta, that was one build. They got to fine tune it. They got to listen to, you know, feedback. And then we get another result of the game later. So in my opinion, Josh Allen would probably be the safe bet based on all this new information about all these new archetypes, right? Because again, if for whatever reason, it's very difficult to throw the ball with a quarterback that you prefer. Like, say you want to go under center. Say Tom Brady's your quarterback, right? Oh, yo, gee, I like Tom Brady. I think Tom Brady's the gap, right? Where's Tom? Tom Brady has to have a, a higher power, right? I think he should be up higher. Um, where the hell is Thomas Edward Patrick Brady? Do we even have a power for Tom Brady? We probably don't. I don't know, because we, we didn't really use him like that, did we? Yeah, we probably don't have a power for Tom Brady. It, it doesn't really matter, unless I just can't see it. Um, and it's just not here right now. Yeah, I, I don't know. We got a Baker Mayfield. That dude sucks. All right, so look, we don't have we don't have him. But bringing up another um, another quarterback, you know, the last year's MVP, like Aaron Rodgers, right? If Aaron Rodgers at launch gets respect because of the status of him being an MVP, and he's able to throw the ball super fast, you know, like remember, like uh, what was it, twenty one, when he and Brett Favre were like the two guys that had the really really quick releases. I would lean towards Aaron Rodgers because remember. Escape artist is no longer an ability. It's an X factor. So we don't have to worry about getting a quarterback that can unlock escape art. We don't need to do all of that. What we need to do is to be able to throw the ball as fast as possible from the pocket based on what we saw inside of Madden 23. That's all we need to be able to do. And if you guys are just starting to understand and learn much, that's what I'm here for. You're going to get gameplay. You're going to get like the right insight to what's supposed to be going on. And you're going to beat players that you have no business beating just off general things that I'm going to tell you. And this is one of the things. So it's going to probably be a little bit more pricey because what happens is everybody figures out like who the good players are very, very early. So you can see the difference in the speed from he and Josh Allen. 70 speed. He has about a, what is that, an 85, what is that, 86 throw power. So he doesn't really have the throw power. But if his release is good, you, with all the new additions to the passing game, you're going to be able to do a lot more because of that. So that's very important that you guys understand that. So I would probably say Josh Allen, Aaron Rodgers, release, speed of ball, things like that. That's what we're going to focus on. If they do something crazy like drop Brett Favre at launch and he has a good release, guess where we're going, guys? You know what I'm saying? Like that That's what I want you guys to understand. I'm always going to make sure I put you in the best possible situation because I'm also putting myself in that situation. So you're going to learn that. If I suggest something, we're doing it together. We do it as a team. And that's the bottom line. I want to thank you guys and girls for watching. You go ahead and have a blessed day. Until next time. One love, y'all.